हेलो एवरीवन टुडे वी हैव डॉक्टर संग्राम लिंगा ही इज एन एसोसिएट प्रोफेसर ऑफ गुजरात बायोटेक्नोलॉजी यूनिवर्सिटी ही हैविंग टोटल ट्वेल्व इयर्स ऑफ एक्सपीरियंस सो लेट्स बिगनिंग विद द इंटरव्यू माय फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज टू यू सर लाइक व्हेन यू केम फर्स्ट टू द गुजरात बायोटेक्नोलॉजी यूनिवर्सिटी वॉट वॉज यूर विजन एंड हाव यू आर ट्राइंग टू अचीव द सेम थैंक यू एंड इट वॉज ए कॉन्शियस डिसीजन टू कम टू गुजरात बायोटेक्नोलॉजी यूनिवर्सिटी बींग इंडिया फर्स्ट specialized university in biotechnology we envision this university to grow as a world class organization wherever we are not only building skilled human being manpower for the industry or g also we are establishing a world class infrastructure which is like high tech plant greenhouse phenomics facility and speed breeding station we are all integrated with a sophisticated lab facility that will be, we will be using genome editing and metabolic engineering of plants for tomorrow's challenge such as climate resilience increasing the nutritional property of crops and also we are focusing on algal biofuels which is the next generation biofuel for sustainability okay great sir so my next question is to you being the faculty of plant biotechnology department what are your roles and responsibility toward the students yeah our students are very talented as you know we will be taking students who are qualified competitive national entrance examinations so our responsibility lies to make it tomorrow's leaders so to develop scientific leadership skills where they will take challenges such as how to solve social real relevant problems that we are facing today in our day to day life so our approach is to make them focus towards translational research so they don't they not only learn from what is written in the books but they will practice in their activity how to solve a particular problem so they will envision that they will bring the they will go to the society and understand the problems we are getting and try to give solutions through biotechnological approaches so you want to instill the confidence in the student that they can come up to any challenges that we are society our society is facing and also come up with empathy and compassion that is another soft skill we are trying to inculcate in our students so that they will not only be leaders but also they bring humility in their day to day life so we are building a complete personality development amongst our student so that is that is our responsibility for our gvu students okay great sir so my next question is to you what are the best practice offered by the department to the student which help them to gain necessary skills yeah so we have the like strong collaboration with internationally acclaimed universities such as university of edinburgh also we have other collaboration with industry and reputed national and international institutions so through them through this networking student will expose to how to work as a team how to bring the international best practice in their day to day activity in their thinking because we want to build critical thinkers as you know so if a student ask a very good questions then they can come up with a solution so those traits we want to build amongst our student so for that we will be exposing our student to the world class facilities and leading industries through their summer internships and through their curricula and that one integral part of their curricula is to do the research in a industrial setup and also at gbu which will build them for for developing the skills for like industry ready graduates okay Thank you. great sir so my next question is to you how do you help your students to cope up with the competing being so high in the outside of world yeah you know as a biologist like darwin said the survival of the fittest but i would say the survival of the smartest right so we want to like develop our students in such a way that they will be agile and they will be adapted to the changing environment outside 
So the only constant in life, as you know, philosophically, I would say, the change is the only constant in life. So through their experiments and the exposure at GBU, they will be learning all these traits through like like hands-on training and learning process. So we want to build our students in such a way that they will be lifelong learners. So that that means we will tell them that success is not a destination; it's a journey. So through that, they will be always evolving through best practices and through not only that we are also teaching the tumorous skills that will be the, we are expecting for instance the artificial intelligence it is greatly influencing our life already started and tomorrow it will be a big thing so we are also teaching data science courses where the student of different disciplines will learn how to use the tools available for their own research so that is one of the component and also because as you said how we we'll make student competitive for the outer world so it's not about competition it also brings in the ethics so we are also teaching or inculcating the best practice so that our student will be not only competitive but also ethically competitive so that means they will be prohibited from the doing mal practices or sort shortcuts in their life so they will be working hard with honesty and dedication so that they will be like you know uh, the traits of leaders so that is our motto at gb okay great sir so my last question is to you what valuable advice would you like to give the such current youth and the aspiring students yeah so i would like to add one thing never lose hope life is not a you know a sprint race if you don't succeed don't quit that's the only thing i would like to give a message you know i came from a background where there was no electricity in my village when i was doing undergrad and tomorrow tomorrow i you know i visited the best labs in the world how it happened because i never quit in my life So that's the message I want to give to my student never quit. Great sir. Thank you. So now I would like to conclude the interview. Thank you so much for the all information that is very helpful for the all student and the parents. Thank you so much sir. Thank you.